ADL on the TT platform allows traders to design, test, and deploy trading algorithms without having to write a single line of code. ADL's visual programming environment features an intuitive drag-and-drop interface where traders can use a collection of functional blocks to access market data, build complex logic, submit orders, and monitor market states. The various blocks can be connected in a circuit-like design to build a completely automated trading strategy. Behind the scenes, ADL uses this visual representation of your algorithm to generate executable code that can be deployed on servers co-located with exchanges around the world. In this video, we will show you how ADL lets traders build algorithmic trading strategies using blocks and edges, we'll discuss some of the types of algos you can create with ADL, and we'll demonstrate how you can test your algos in ADL and deploy them for use in TT. In ADL, the calculations and logic involved in the execution of a trading strategy are represented graphically as a collection of functional blocks and connectors called edges that route information between these blocks. Each block can receive inputs from ports on the left, they perform a specific function, and then emit output through ports on the right. The edges between these blocks route one block's output into another block's input. At the core of many algorithmic trading strategies is the order. Choosing the instrument, setting the price, setting the order quantity, and deciding when to submit the order. ADL lets us automate these decisions using an arrangement of blocks and edges. At its core is an order block, whose function, as its name suggests, is to place an order. Its input ports define the instrument, price, and quantity. We also have an on-off port to activate or deactivate the block, which submits or cancels the order. Here in the Block Properties panel, we can define the parameters of this block, which can determine its behavior. For example, we can set the side of the market on which to place the order, set the time and force, and the order type. Then, on the right, we have the output ports. Once an order is placed, the quantity working in the market is emitted through the working quantity output port, and once an order is filled, details about the fill are emitted through its fills output port. To define the inputs and accept the outputs of the order block, we need a combination of other blocks, each with its own function. We'll need an instrument block, which allows us to select a default instrument and output data, which provides the instrument to the instrument port of the order block. We'll set it to user defined to allow our user to change the instrument at runtime. We'll also need a field block, which also takes instrument data from the instrument block, but is configured to output the bid price into the order block's price input, placing the order at the best bid. We also have a number block set to output 5 connected to the quantity port of the order block, and a Boolean block which can output a true or false value connected to the on-off port that activates the order block and submits the order, or deactivates the block and cancels the order. When the order fills, the order block outputs details about the fill through its fills output port. We have a message info extractor block connected to this port configured to output the fill price. From this basic arrangement, ADL gives us the tools we need to build logic into the determination of each of our order parameters. We can, for example, perform a calculation to set our order price a number of ticks off the market, set our order quantity to be a percentage of the number of working contracts at our price level, create logic to only activate our order once liquidity at our price level reaches a certain point, and we can also use information from our fills to define the logic we would need to submit a subsequent order and exit our position. With ADL, we can create sophisticated algos capable of identifying sweeps in the market and entering orders based off that action, monitoring time and sales to trigger orders based off trade action imbalance, dynamically adjust working order prices and quantities based off market dynamics, and more. As we are building our algos, ADL provides us the ability to test them against live market data with simulated matching. Press the play button within ADL, and we can see our algo in action. We see the flow of information through our algo, the results of our calculations, simulated fills, and the behavior of algo logic directly in the ADL canvas. Once we are satisfied, we can deploy our algos from ADL so that they can be used in the TT platform. As you can see, ADL empowers non-developers to create algorithmic trading strategies through an easy-to-use drag-and-drop interface. With ADL, you can test your algos against live market data and seamlessly deploy them for use in the TT platform. For more information, visit our website at tradingtechnologies.com.